Hey everybody, it's Ashley from Ashley Screen Life, and today's screen tip is all about how to use a neti pot. So a neti pot is basically where you're going to use a little teapot type um, tool, and you're going to irrigate your nose with this a water salt solution. Um, I have come to love my neti pot. It has helped me um, transfer over from using traditional allergy medications to just a neti pot. So it's a great green alternative for those of you allergy sufferers out there. So to do the neti pot, first you're going to need some supplies. So the first thing you'll need is some distilled water. This will be the cleanest water that you'll be able to use. Um, and if you have to use tap water, you'll want to make sure and boil it for several minutes to remove any of the impurities um, before you use it for a neti pot. You'll also need some neti pot salt. I got mine from my local health food store. You'll need a measuring cup, a little measuring spoon, and of course a neti pot. So mine's a ceramic one. It's lasted me for about seven years or so, and it only cost me $13, so I love that. So the first thing you're going to do is measure out one cup of the distilled water. So I get a little saucepan, turn it to high, put my neti pot water in there, my distilled water in there, and it only takes a minute or two um, to get it nice and warm. You want it warm about like a like bath water kind of temperature, um, just so it's comfortable for your nose, not too cold, not too hot, but just right. Um, as you can see, I use my finger to check and see if it's ready, so make sure your hands are clean if you're doing this and obviously do it carefully. Next, I will scoop out one fourth of a teaspoon of the neti pot salt placed into the measuring cup and then pour the warmed water into the measuring cup. I find that this helps mix the salt into the water a little faster. I'll then pour half of that solution into the neti pot and I'm ready to go. So to, to set yourself up, you're going to uh, tilt your head to the opposite side. Uh, you're going to put the neti pot in into your nostril and then lift your elbow up. As you can see, it kind of creates an incline from my elbow all the way down, as in the water's coming out, and you're just gonna let it flow. That's kind of my catchphrase for using the neti pot. Just let yourself relax and let it flow. Um, you want to keep your mouth open so you can breathe while you're doing the neti pot, and you just try to relax into it. Once you've allowed all the water to empty out, you're going to give it a good blow. And I use a cloth napkin also to just kind of get the extra out and you're onto the next side. So basically transfer the last half cup of water into the neti pot and all the same steps. We're going to tilt our head, place the neti pot into your nostril, lift your elbow up, make that incline and let it flow once again. So the reason we like to do the neti pot or it's helpful is that it's going to wash out um, allergens, uh, environmental irritants, anything else in the air that kind of will just get stuck in your nose with the neti pot, we're able to wash it out. As you can see, um, at the end here, I'm going to give it one last blow again, use my cloth napkin and blow out both sides just to get it all out. You'll find it might drip a little bit. And if you're feeling a little OCD, you could take that napkin or a different one and give your sink a little wipe down so you don't have any of that hanging out in the sink for someone else to see. Um, nobody likes that. <laughs> so basically that's how I do the neti pot. I do it twice a day in the morning and then again at night and it really helps keep my nasal passages nice and clean. So if you've ever used a neti pot before, you can share your experiences below or if you have any questions for me, you can post those too. Also, you can head over to Ashley's Green Life to see more pictures and detailed instructions in case you want to learn more. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time for the next screen tip. Bye.